Hi, I am Arthur Piccolo. Back in 2015, when what is now known as Barclay Center was under construction in Brooklyn, I mounted a lonely effort to have the arena named the Jackie Robinson Arena. My efforts went nowhere, especially since the owner, real estate executive Bruce Ratner, wanted the free money of selling the naming rights that would be all profit at no cost to him. And he did. Ratner sold the naming rights to Barclays Bank for $200 million for 20 years, collecting $10 million a year for nothing but his acceptance of their offer. Now there is a new owner, Chinese billionaire Joe Thai, who also owns the Brooklyn Nets. Well, Mr. Thai has the ability to make a powerful symbolic statement that will cost him nothing, and keeping the $10 million a year from Barclays Bank, he gets for nothing. By telling Barclays from now on they will share the name of the arena, it will be the Jackie Robinson Arena and Barclays Center. As to Jackie Robinson, I hope I do not even have to explain, but this brief video will do the job. Jackie Robinson is the most famous and important Brooklynite who ever lived and one of the great civil rights leaders in American history. And now he eternally rests in Brooklyn, his home from the moment he joined the Brooklyn Dodgers to the day he died in Brooklyn. Jackie Robinson has never been honored adequately. Now we can, by naming the most famous and important structure in Brooklyn's long history for him. Brooklyn's Entertainment and Sports Center, which stands at the focal point for all of Brooklyn, at the intersections of Flatbush Avenue, Atlantic Avenue, and 4th Avenue. The large plaza in front of Barclays Center is Brooklyn's town square, as proven again and again by all the recent protests, all centered right at Barclays Center. And the very site where the new Brooklyn Dodgers baseball stadium would have stood if they did not leave for Los Angeles. I believe there is no better place, there will never be a better place or time to honor the great Jackie Robinson than right now with the Jackie Robinson Arena and Barclays Center. And life in these United States can be mighty tough for people who are a little different from the majority in their skin color. Jackie is the original civil rights pioneer. When Jackie broke the color line in baseball in 1947, Martin Luther King was a junior at Morehouse College. Harry S. Truman had not integrated the military. The Supreme Court had not ruled in Brown versus Board of Education that segregation was illegal. And Rosa Parks hadn't refused to give up her seat on the bus, as Jackie had done more than a decade before her in 1944, for which he got court-martialed at Fort Hood and won. Let me just quote Martin Luther King. Jackie Robinson was a sit-inner before sit-ins and a freedom rider before freedom rides. More than anything else, what African Americans have wanted from America is a seat at the table. Jackie Robinson knew once he got in the door, you could knock down all of these conventions. And over time, Jackie Robinson has pushed us forward. For him, there was no satisfaction with simply being allowed to enter the room. There's no time like the present to be revisiting the Jackie Robinson story. Fame and celebrity are so important to our national culture and I think that Robinson gives us a great window into what you can do with that fame and celebrity to affect change across the country. The real Jackie Robinson and to understand him and his heroism. I think that there's so much to relate to about his story that feels very relevant today. A lot of us talk a good talk. He actually walked the walk. He got up every day and tried to make things better for other people. Every single day, with a fire in his belly, he said that we're only measured by the differences we make in the lives of other people. You can put me down as being an expert on a, being a colored American. And just like any other colored person, with any sense, enough to look around him and understand what he sees. Then you moved into a town like Brooklyn, and it was just fantastic the way the fans responded and reacted. They were a great bunch of people, and I've always been a very appreciative for the support and guidance that we got from fans. I must admit, I'm going to be tremendously more pleased and more proud 
when I look at that third base coaching line one day and see a black face managing in baseball. Thank the historic moment that we remember today will not become a distant memory. For wherever there is an injustice in this world, where people are not treated equally, there is the shining example of this man. Number 42, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson's impact is still recognized in America today as one of the biggest civil rights movements to take across professional baseball. The number 42 has since been retired, never allowing another player to grace the field while wearing the number of a true American civil rights hero. 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 True American civil rights hero.